and welcome back. I'm Jason Laird from the Storm Tracker 13 Weather Center. Well, this pretty much paints the big picture for you as we take a look at our weather pattern today. Hot air planted over top of the springs, and that's going to last for the rest of today. But as we start fast forwarding into the first part of this next week, more mild air is going to come in. And as that mild air starts to move in, we get a bit of a trigger, and that's going to likely kick off some thunderstorm activity tomorrow afternoon. Live Doppler radar at this hour showing a little bit of activity into eastern Colorado. Nothing really to get too terribly excited about. We showed you earlier those clouds over top of the mountains. That's what this thing is picking up. We are seeing a few little showers into the higher elevations near Canyon City, but overall eastern Colorado staying very, very clear. Just those hazy conditions out there indicated on the Doppler radar. When we take you out to the regional view, this is really going to paint the picture on just where that monsoonal flow is coming from. You can see that big plume of clouds streaming up from our south, that is where the moisture is going to be coming from. And that's going to meet up with that little bit of a trigger or cold front moving through tomorrow that is going to likely kick off some shower activity. So monsoonal moisture as we fast forward through your week. This afternoon, likely going to see some shower activity off of the mountains there. I don't suspect it's going to be very heavy, but like we were saying earlier, it all depends on the placement of those storms. Kind of like that dartboard effect. If just one of those cells manages to hit one of the burn scars. It could be a world hurt. Now as we fast forward into to, uh, fast forward into tomorrow morning. Notice nice clear start to your Tuesday. However, as the afternoon progresses, radar indicates things staying very clear, but I'm going to go ahead and say it's going to be a little bit stormy tomorrow afternoon. The reason for that, we've got plenty of moisture to work with, and I've been talking about that trigger moving through tomorrow afternoon. So, Skycast not painting in a lot of shower activity, but as we fast forward into Tuesday, there's a good chance we're going to see some of that. As for temperatures right now, into the 70s to our east, uh, or excuse me, to our west, as we look out to our east, staying warm in places like Lyman, 91 degrees, 84 into Canyon City, and Colorado Springs right now about 84 degrees. Tonight, going to be a fairly comfortable one after we move some showers through the area. Again, not very heavy showers, but looking at about 62 degrees into Colorado Springs tonight. Going to be a very nice evening, so get out and enjoy it while you can because I think midweek, that's when we're going to start to see some of that shower activity. Over the next seven days, here's how things shape up for us. Overall, temperatures are going to start to taper down with a good chance of afternoon thunderstorms all week long. The reason for that, we've just got so much ground moisture to work with and with those toasty temperatures, a lot of convective activity going to start kicking things off. Pueblo, a little bit warmer there into the mid-90s for the rest of the week, again with afternoon showers likely. So we take you over to Canyon City. Here's how things shape up for us. A little bit cooler, still hanging tight to the 90s all week long. Best chance for moisture this next week is going to be tomorrow and Wednesday, and that's going to be the big story as well as we take you over to Teller County. If you need a break from the heat, that's the place to be. However, we are looking at the best chance of moisture in the Teller County area. So it's going to be an active one, I think, tomorrow. Like I said, the radar is not showing a lot, but we got our suspicions, so. And uh, 90s and triple digits, you're not going to yeah. get to forecast those too often. Exactly. So exactly. you got to <laughs> suck them up while you can. Yeah. Thanks, Jason. Definitely.